Whistle blows. We're underway on the 4th of July. Orlando City and D.C. United from Exploria Stadium. Just one win on the road this year. That was all the way back on March 5th. The East is so packed together that their season is nowhere near over if they can string a few results together. They're right back in the thick of things, but right now needing a victory in the worst way. Promising attack here. Durkin slides it to Furta scores! Yeah, this is certainly unexpected, and Kyle Smith gets dragged out of position because Skundrick's driving at the player. And then you get good individual play there, and that's what we talked about Fontas, right? His ability to sneak underneath and make those runs underneath those forwards. And he's uncontested. This is really poor defending in transition for Orlando. Big moments against Orlando City. Of course, Wayne Rooney seemed to do something ridiculous every time that he played against Orlando. Luciano Acosta over the years. Quintus looking to add his name to the list. Here's Estrada bullying his way all in. It's 2 0. And it's Futus again. And this time he's got to tip his cap to Michael Estrada. DC United all over Orlando City. 2 0 inside 10 minutes. See, this is just a simple ball in behind the wing backs and the center back. And Kyle Smith in this case is out of his preferred position but in a 1v1 situation as a defender you have got to do better you cannot allow a player to get by you in such a tight space and Estrada does it with relative ease and then again Funtas in a great position and Schlegel just a touch too far from him and that half a second allows Taxi Funtas to get in there behind Pereira good job by Mauricio to save it now Pato Pato into traffic. Here's Arso on the run. Romo makes the save. Cleared off the top of the six for a corner. That one fell beautifully for Junior Arso. And Romo with a big step. You got one of the great crossers of the ball in the league in Gressel. And then one of its great players, period, in Funtis. It'll be Funtis. His shot. Oh, what a goal. It's a hat trick for Taxi Funtis in spectacular fashion. Oh, this is a great strike for Funtas, and that little touch makes Pedro Galese make a slight movement, and that little hop keeps him from being able to get low quick enough. And he gets there, but he just doesn't make clean contact. He loses sight of the ball. As it happens, sometimes you just have to get creative. That's why general managers sometimes have a big say. We do. In fact, I think that got the post behind Romo. Yep. And he chips it off his defender. Now Pereira. Torres steps into it. Scores! Facundo Torres El Cuervo brings Orlando City to life. And a nice, clean, strong strike. The goalkeeper... Romo doing his best impression of the mannequin challenge there. Some life into Orlando coming off the bench at halftime. Yeah, this was part of the plan initially. Uh, after speaking. And Roberta gets in behind Estrada. Big save, Galese. Headed back. Camara's bike goes into the wall. Remember, clear as day, Wayne Rooney scoring one from about this spot on the other side of the stadium back in 2018. Torres whips it in. Car Sean Cara from Facundo Torres. Talk about designated players coming in and making an impact. That's another connection. Just standing, watching. Couldn't find the right connection there. Tesho Akindeli being ready for Orlando. This is opened up for DC. It's a 2v1 break here. Smith for two. Kamarni Smith takes the air right out of Exploria Stadium. Is out wide and it's just a clear path. Route one. Michelle. Torres. Pato. Over the top for Benji. Benji with the header. Taken down. Penalty. 
There's a great run by Benji Michel, even a better ball from Alexander Pato. I think it's a handball that he's calling because, as I said in my initial thought, is there's no contact there against Benji Michel, but there is a handball from Mainz Hike. Ended up being enough for them to win that game in the first round of the U.S. Open Cup. He also converted his penalty against Nashville on Wednesday in the shootout. He may not get a chance to take this one. And I think it's a right call in the initial place. So Alejandro Mariscal, the... The VAR thought that there was a clear and obvious error. Chapman disagrees and awards the penalty. And now Pato with a chance to get Orlando right back in. Pato. Alexandra Pato. 4-3 in Orlando City has yet another lifeline. Uh, absolutely cold-blooded from Alexander Pato. Falls to Michel. Now Janssen guides it back. Pereira has options. Looks for Cara. Has Cara. Cara trying to weave. Now Janssen! What a save! Janssen stops the rebound. Cleared away. This game will not stop for Miguel to make so much as one point. There goes Sesho. Curls it in. Cara! Romo! Oh, it's out! Corner! Romo! Just enough! Just a minute and a half to go, and they're in control of the ball. Tossed into Kamarni Smith. He loses it. Orlando's got it back. Araujo gives it up to Roberta! And DC United wins! Nigel Roberta puts it away! The stadium comes to an end. Nigel Roberta off a blind clearance. Hey, That's punched away by Romo. And that is all she wrote on one of the craziest games in Major League Soccer this year.